Hey guys, how's it going? Um, it's Hodesky here. So, just a quick little video today, kind of to give you an update of where I'm at. Not a lot's changed since my last video. Um, my room quality has improved significantly, but that's kind of about it. So, I'll go through and let you have a look at where I'm at. So, this is my Stormblade at the moment. Um, 6k HP, 4.8k attack, um, 1100 defense, 75% crit rate, 160 crit damage. Um, really happy with his HP and his defense. His attack could be a bit higher. Ideally, I want to get him on strike at a stage, but I'm just waiting to farm the rune. So, I do have, this is slot one six star rune um, that I've maxed out. So, I was very happy when I got this drop. Um, this is slot two uh, five star crit rate rune. Another one um, that I'm really happy with, I got this from B7. I think it was a, um, a purple rune when I got it. It had crit damage, defense, and crit rate already rolled on it. Um, it rolled once into crit rate and twice into crit damage. And then the final roll was HP. I was really hoping for a triple crit rate roll, but still very happy. Probably the best rune I have on that slot. All right, so slot four of the runes, it's all right. It's not too bad. I pulled this rune today. This was a blue rune, I'm really happy with it. Uh, plus 379 attack, which is huge. Um, so it was a blue rune, it had flat attack on it, 2% um, HP, it rolled twice into flat attack. And the last two rolls were attack and crit damage, um, which were really good rolls as well. And this one here is just flat attack. Um, the subs on that are pretty crap. Um, I wanna replace this as soon as I can, but I don't really have anything better to put on there at the moment. I'm still hoping for a slot to or slot six attack rune. So this is how Buckshot's looking. Um, he's really tanky as well, and he's got big attack. His crit rate's not where it should be, and his crit damage is a bit low as well. Um, but the reason he's got such high attack compared to um, Old Mate Stormblade is just because he's got an attack on slot two. Right, so these are his runes, so another six star slot one, oh, five star slot two, uh, six star slot three, um, this is a really good rune, I was happy with this, 7% crit, 5% attack. Um, a 6 star slot 4. 4 star slot 5, is this better? Hmm. Now you see, I'm going to lose out on the 10% defense bonus from the ward set if I replace this. I'm going to lose out on the 5%, so I'm going to lose out on 15% defense. Oh no, this one has 4%, so I'll lose out on 11% defense and 4% crit. But I'll gain an extra 400 HP and 125 attack. Mm, I think I'll keep the, the 4 star on it for now. And then this is his, um, his attack rune. So Enigma's got some filler runes as well, but his runes are looking a lot better. Right, so another six star I pulled. Again, the stats aren't great, but it's a really good rune for Enigma for now. This needs to be replaced um, badly. I cannot pull like any runes really that fit here. Apart from this, I actually will roll that later, probably after the video and put that on there. I don't know why I haven't already. I saw this, it dropped and I got really excited, but then it was effect accuracy. <laughs> I got really sad, so. Then there's this rune and, oh my God, why is this not on there? There we go. And then this rune. So I saw this one as well. So I got another six star slot too. But it was only accuracy. So I was gutted, right? Because I'm after attack. Um, like even HP or defense I would have been stoked with, but accuracy is just useless to me at the moment. Um, so where I'm at too, so I've cleared through like all of the scenario very easy. Um, I did that in the last video as well. I'm working on normal now. Um, I'm just working through stage seven on normal. I've already cleared eight. Um, I did that for, I think you get a ticket for it. Yeah, I did that for the ticket earlier. So seven's not a problem. I can clear seven. Um, it's for my next quest as well. So I'll probably get that done after the video is finished. So today the arena is going to reset as well. So at the moment I'm sitting at rank three. Um, there is quite a big gap between me and rank one. It's about 110 points. Um, I'm not going to try and hit rank one. Um, if I bought um, gears in the shop and just hit the high people with the defenses that I could beat, I probably could pump it out, but it's not worth it. So the difference in value is 200 gems for being rank one or being just in the highest bracket. And gears are expensive, right? Like four gears is 60 gems, 10 is 150. It would take way more than 10 gears for me to 
you know, power through and guarantee spot one. So it just wouldn't be worth it. So I'll give you guys a quick look at um, Arena and stuff and where I'm at at the moment. So he will just hit the top one there. And we'll see how we go. So my basic strategy at the moment is just kill everything before they kill me. But there's no strategy. It's just a nuke fest, so... That 75% crit right there. There we go. Alright, sweet. So yeah, that one wasn't too hard. There's a couple of people um, I am losing to on a regular basis, so I'll try and find... There's one that's pretty crazy. Um, I'll see if I can find him. I might refresh like a couple more times, see if I can get him in my list. If I can, I'll show you a match against him. If I can't, I'll do 50 gems, so three more. All right, a couple more. I really want to find this guy to show you in the video. No. Oh, my poor gems. <laughs> my poor gems. All right, two more and I'm done. It's so annoying. Like, I've already invested in trying to find this guy so much. Now I just want to find him. There he is. All right, I found him. We've got him. Oh, thank God. Well, don't thank God, actually. This guy, right, this, this is the biggest whale you've ever seen in your life. Right, just, if you don't know what he has already, just prepare yourself. It, it is insane. But look at this absolute madness. Right, six star. Max skilled awakened king pen. This game has not even been out for four days. It's been out for like, I don't know, like three and a half days. Like, that is insane. And the runes on it aren't even that crazy, right? But that king pen sold me like two days ago. So I've been avoiding hitting him. Um, I am going to hit him now. We'll see if we can do it. I don't think we will. Um, I'm pretty prepared for this to wipe. But we'll give it a go just so you guys can see kind of the King Pen in action. Oh, quickly, for those of you who don't know as well, I'll just pause it um, when we get into it. So, actually, no, I don't need to. King Pen, so his second skill when you awaken him, it just becomes an AoE, right? So that's the, like, the biggest really difference that you're going to see. All right, so he didn't use it. It's good. That's going to hurt. Oh, not too much, actually. I forget that uh, the runes aren't that crazy. You look right, you think, all right, Hodski, it's looking good for you. No, 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 you will see. Oh no, it's gonna, it's happening. Wait, no, I've got it, never, oh no. No, is it? We watch, and he heals up. <laughs> He's gonna get me, I know he is. Fuck me. Oh, nah, we got it. Hectic. Alright, I finally beat him. Oh, feels good. I've lost that guy like five times. Oh, so satisfying to beat him. Um, honestly, even with the Awakened King pen, if you had a lifetime nuke like Stealth Elf and you had decent rune quality, it wouldn't be that much of a problem. Once that bloke gets some good runes on his King pen, <laughs> he's pretty much going to be unbeatable. Um, until some other big whales appear, but I don't know. Um, it's crazy. It'd be really interesting to see how strong that thing gets um, once it's plus five. You know, has six star runes on it and everything. So pretty much what I'm doing in the moment of the game is I'm still farming B7. So I've been farming B7 for like the last couple of days, pretty much nonstop. Um, I'll give you a look at my run. Um, originally, it was failing about maybe 20 to 30 percent of the time. Now it's pretty solid. Um, I'll probably fail one in every 20, 
you watch, as I say, it's run or fail. Murphy's Law, but yeah, it's it's pretty rare. Just with upgrading my runes, it's just become a lot more consistent, right? Way more damage has come out. Um, with some six star slots on my defense and HP as well, my monsters are way more tanky. It's just become a lot easier. So, kind of where I want to go in the game at the moment um, is so my next really what I want to work into is B8 is my next dungeon, right? So B8's water base, so you know life and earth are the elements you want to go there for elemental advantage. Um, what I would like to try to do is to skip the B8 team setup and build a team based around B9. So B9 is a fire dungeon and it's quite a lot harder, so significantly harder than B8 is, just as B8 is significantly harder than B7. So the main key core units that you're going to want to use in B9 is Whamshell and Boomer, right? So they're kind of your bread and butter for getting into that. So what I'd really like to do is try and use Whamshell, Boomer, plus one that I still haven't decided. I've got an idea of who I'd like to run in my head, but I'm still not 100% on them. I'd like to build a team. I'd like to build that team to go into B8. And that way I don't have to, you know, spend time building a B8 team, then farming runes, then building a B9 team. You know, I can just build a B9 team. Well, sorry, I can just, I can farm runes in B7 for a while, get some six stars that I want, build a B9 team, use that B9 team to tackle B8. And then I can just, after I get some better rune drops from B8, hopefully just shift into B9 really quickly. So there's a few things that I really need to do on my account. So for B9 and B8, I need this guy Boomer. So Boomer, you can farm on stage six normal mode. Um, he just drops in any of the regular scenarios. He's a really good unit. Um, he's a three star, he's gear type. So um, how do you see the elemental chart? Where is it? So the easiest way to think of this is just gear and water are the same thing. Life and earth are the same thing. Wind and, is that undead or poison? I've always called it undead. Yeah, undead. Undead and Wind are the same thing, and Magic and Fire are the same thing. So if you just remember these four, right? Those four, um, like your Rock, Paper, Scissors thing, but with four of them, you'd be sweet. So Gear beats Fire, right? So Boomer's a bomber. Um, his first skill is an AoE that puts bombs down. His second skill um, is a single target that buffs allies' attacks. And his third skill is like a slam that reduces the um, the explode count on the bombs. So the second unit I want to farm is Wham Shell. So is he here? stage do you farm in? Maybe it's nine. Yeah, okay, so he's here. So Wham Show you farm in stage nine. Wham Show's really good as well. So he's a defense-based attacker. Um, he has a passive that gives a shield. He's just a really solid unit, right? And when you have Broccoli Guy, who was one of the villains leveled up enough, you'll find like if your team kind of wipes it all a little bit through it, Wham Show will be at a solo B9. The boss part of it, at least, if his rune quality is high enough. So the third thing that I want to do is start working on Broccoli Guy. Um, I haven't decided yet if I want to farm easy, normal, or hard. So Snapshot is, I built him on my old server, so the Australian Canadian server. Snapshot was really good, but I don't know if I want to invest the time into farming him up. Um, so I'm, I'm going to do Broccoli Guy eventually anyway. So probably the fastest way to farm him would be on easy mode because, you know, I'd just be clearing it so fast. But like if I'm farming him, do I want to farm something else at the same time? Um, you've got Gruel Grunt here, but again, he doesn't really appeal to me. Igniter looks interesting, but I don't really know where I'd use him. Maybe in B10 because he has elemental advantage, but I've never seen really seen anyone use him enough to know that much about him. I probably will end up farming hard mode to get my Broccoli Guy pieces and try and knock off some, you know, at least a bit off Igniter. So if in the future, you know, it turns out he is good for B10, I'm at least quite a bit, you know, of the ways there ready to power him up. So yeah, so that's that's pretty much where my accounts are at the moment. I'll give you a quick look at my Mirage Tower too. So I've cleared 445. Um, I think I was the only one to clear it when I did it. I don't know if anyone else has done it since. Okay, someone else has done it as well. Um, but yeah, I've done up to 45. Um, it's still got 28 days. I'm like 99% confident I'll clear it within the 28 days. Um, oh, that reminds me as well. So I was saying, you know, I'm thinking of another plus one I want to use for B8. Um, I'm thinking of Super Shot Elf. So Super Shot, Super Shot Stealth Elf. Okay, so she's in that four that you get just from logging in and from Mirage Tower, right? She's a life type and she's a nuker. So her first skill is just, is just a single target nuke. 
Her second skill is a charge skill. Um, it, it gains a 30% additional crit rate. Um, and it does quite a lot of damage. And her passive is just she has a 30% chance to use her dagger cannon at the start of a round to shoot all enemies. Right, so this is the dagger cannon. So at the start of a round, there's a chance to hit all the enemies, which is really good as well. Um, one thing that's notable as well, when this is max skilled, when it crits, it lands a bonus hit. So I don't know how powerful the bonus hit is. I haven't used any of my skill up materials yet. I've been saving them. More likely than not, I will probably invest quite a lot of them into Broccoli Guy. So with Broccoli Guy, when you skill up his heal, after two skill ups, it gains a defense buff effect. And then after four, you know, it reduces the debuffs count by one further. So it doesn't cleanse, it just reduces the count of debuffs by one. So if you have a two turn defense break, it'll take it down to one. Once it's leveled up, you know, to the fourth time, it'll just remove the defense break completely. The fifth skill up, you gain HP regen, and then a two turn defense buff at the last one. So he's a really good character to invest in for skill ups. Um, this is useful as well. I'm not, I would not bother leveling this up until you had him at a very high level. But this basically means um, like how long he's going to stay alive for, right? So initially he can use his heal twice and then he'll die or go away or whatever he does. And then you have to wait for him to come back up. If you skill this up twice, you know, he can potentially get four heals off per time that he's up, which is really good as well. So yeah, Super Shot Stealth Elf, definitely a candidate. I don't have enough pieces to do much with her at the moment. Um, I have zero pieces left. To evolve her, I need 60. I will get another 25 on the, where is it? So not tonight, but tomorrow I'll get another 25. And then in Mirage Tower for floor 49, I will get, oops. Uh, for floor 49, I will get 40. So I'll be getting 65, so I'll have enough to five star her, probably by, I figure I could probably do floor 49 now. Um, if I tried it, I'd just been autoing it, apart from the boss stages. Um, I think I probably could get through to floor 49 so I could get the 40 pieces. But I'll need to wait until Tuesday night for me to actually five star her. Once she's five starred, um, I'll try working on leveling her up and stuff like that. Chuck some runes on her, see how she goes. Um, if I think she'll work well, um, I don't think I'll skill her up, but I'll try and throw her into the V8 team and see how she goes. But yeah, pretty much just for the next day or two, it's really just going to be rune farming and not much else, honestly. Um, I want some six star runes on slots two and six. And then once I have that, I'll probably start on the boomer grind. Um, that is going to take me a long time with the rates nerfed, but it is what it is. And then I'll probably work on Wham Shell. But anyway, also, I have been streaming lately as well on Twitch, um, pretty inconsistently. But anyway, if you're interested or anything like that, or you, know, you just want to stop by and say hello, um, I'd really appreciate it. I'll leave a link to that in the description. Anyway, if you stay to the end, I appreciate it. Um, thanks so much for watching and take care. All right, see you guys.